Hello and welcome to Dirt Farmer Television. <clears throat> My name is Locke Michaels, otherwise known as the Dirt Farmer, and today we're going to be showing you how to force breed or stable stuff. It's called one or the other. It's basically the art of running horses through your stables in order to make foals for your friends and not having to wait 24 hours between harvests. What you will need is a stable. I've got mine. It's, I've highlighted it right here. It's painted blue. Uh, that does cost a few farm bill cash if you want to paint your stable though. I also have, I want to explain to you a little bit the way I've got my foals, or excuse me, my horses set up for um, force breeding. How my ready mares, and what, what I call ready mares, are the fully grown adult horses that you use to activate the uh, stable. We've all got some ready mares if we're force breeding. And it doesn't have to be any specific kind of horse, it just has to be a horse that can get above 34%. Ones I'm using today are at 90%. So they just have to be over 34%. We've all got brown horses and gray horses. Those are the first two introduced into Farmville. I call those first tier ready mares. And second tier ready mares are the ones we made in the nursery, which is basically what the nursery was for. The best thing it was used for producing ready mares. Right here is the cream draft horse and the cream mini horse. Those are real good because you can put more of them out. See, each one of these horses will be able to allow me to harvest the stables. And we're going to show you how to do that. Each one of these will also. And the other second tier ready mare is the light blue pony. Now, during the course of all my years in Farmville, I have come across a few uh, glitches, a few things where we got over on the game where we were able to get more of uh, different horses without paying Farmville cash. There were just different bugs at different times. Uh, that allowed us to produce horses such as the Red Pinto horse. They were plentiful at one time. And the Palomino Quarter Horse. There was a glitch or something I believe that just allowed us to get a ton of those for free. The Black Paint Horse. The Red Horse. The White Mustang. The Posterior Brenton horse, the nomadic horse, they were just uh, happened to be free gifts at one time. And then there was the pony quest that I ran through X amount of times because I wanted to use those as ready mares. The third tiers, the ones I just showed you, uh, they make up something a little bit interesting. So if you do get a dud, and a dud is a foal from the ready mare. So if I got a dud from a brown horse, it would be a brown foal. Nobody wants those. So by using the third tier ready mares, if I get a dud, at least I get a dud that maybe not everyone's sick of. Most are, but some aren't. Now let's look inside. Oh, and just of a personal note, I went a long time before I actually bought the dream horse. And I only did so so I could make one in Duke blue colors. That's my team. That's my Duke horse. And that is my first stallion. And when st <laughs> once upon a time, stallions were so hard to get. And now they're free every couple of days, it seems like. Let's look inside. Now, for today, I've decided only to put... Uh, eight mares in. There's currently nine horses in here. Eight of those are mares. Not the newest, but the ones I like right now. And for the stallion, I've got the Cremello stallion, which gives coconuts. So not only every time I harvest this stable will I get coins, lots and lots of coins. It's actually a percentage of your Farmville level. So the higher you are 
in levels in Farmville, the more coins you get off of your uh, stables. But since the Cremella's in there and he produces coconuts, I get, I believe, 4,500 coconuts every time I run the stables. Now, if you're familiar with how force breeding works, you know you don't really need to watch this video. We hope you watch it so that if you have friends that are starting in the game, or actually if you're just now starting, I hope you claim that uh, English farm not, not too many weeks ago so you could actually get a stable. Uh, but those of you that don't know how to work your stables, we're going to show you how to right now. Basically, since you are at 90%, uh, you're not at 100%, you can use the multi-tool. You move any horse, any one of your ready mares that's above 34% into the stable, and you harvest. And now if you don't know the trick, you're going to have to wait 24 hours. But now that you do, oh look, I got uh, nearly 150,000 coins. And then you do it again. Now you notice I had eight mares in there. And I keep, uh, there you go, see, I made a foal. And now I get to share it. right to the wall. Sometimes you get foals, sometimes you get coins, sometimes you get farmhands, sometimes you get arborists, and sometimes you get uh, XP. There you go, more coins. Look at that, 300,000 coins. How hard was that? Remember it took me months to make 300,000 coins when I first started playing this game. And we just keep going. Now, if I had 30 or 40 different kind of horses in there, I probably wouldn't worry about putting in... There we go. What did I tell you? You didn't believe me, did you? There's the farmhand. Everybody keeps telling me he doesn't produce farmhands anymore. Hogwash. And then you just keep going. Now when the number of ready mares outnumbers the number of other horses in there you have a higher probability of making the ready mare sometimes I'll stop uh, after I do three sometimes I'll do the whole row there we go we made another foal so if you've ever wondered how people can make dozens and dozens and dozens of foals every single night when you could only get your stable to harvest once every 24 hours now you know and this is one of the four golden glitches of Farmville or one of the glitches of the golden age of Farmville this is how you make all these coins and then you can buy hey look we made another foal and this is how you can either buy belted cows that will help you level up or you can buy mansions and then sell them that'll help you level up and between the belted cow trick we showed you before and if you didn't see that we have that video available on our YouTube channel hey what do you know there's another one of those farm hands people say they don't make anymore ain't not just a wealth of information tonight and for just pure random reason I keep mine in uh, nine to a row and that's only a personal choice you could do rolls of 10 you could do rolls of 20 and see we had so many of those in there we made one of the ready mares which I'm just demonstrating tonight so I don't really care I'm more interested in showing everybody else how to force breed. And Zynga has introduced other ways that we can make foals. And my farm is in the middle of getting redone, so you have to excuse the mess. We also have the paddocks paddocks 
and I've got those loaded to the gills and I just harvested those a few minutes ago I think we all know how those work and if you don't have the adult horse and you want to make little foals for your friends just simply collect the babies off the feed put them in the play pens and just harvest them from there this is probably why I've got 80 million things of animal feed that I never use and see I didn't even have the adults well I do have the adults but if you didn't have the adults and you just had the babies you could harvest them straight out of here and then I get to delete them all that is how we force breed uh, stable stuff whatever you want to call it it is the original golden glitch of Farmville it's the one that made the game famous the one Farmville tried to kill at least four times over that I can remember and they failed miserably each time and they will so again because if they ever take that out of the game I think everyone would pretty much riot and revolt this has been Lock Michaels and this has been force breeding just remember in order to do it you need a stable you need a stallion and you need some ready mares thanks a lot